Hi, this is Chandrasekhar Prabhu again. Thank you for watching me on the YouTube and thank you for the overwhelming response. All our videos are going viral. Thank you very much. A lot of you have been writing to me saying that please tell us about the tenants movement in Mumbai. What is the tenants movement? Is there a tenant movement at all? Are the tenants united? Were they ever united? Did they have the power? Did they ever have the strength to matter to the city? Did they do anything which showed their strength to the rest of the city and the powers that be? are all questions that most young people seem to be asking me. Hence, I decided in this post to talk about the struggle of the tenants movement in Mumbai and Maharashtra. Every tenanted building has a tenants association. Somewhere it's called a Bhadekaru Sangh. Somewhere it is called a Bhadut Mandal. Somewhere it's called a Tenants Group. Somewhere it's called an association. Now all these are loose associations which change bulbs in the passage, clean the common toilets, clean the staircase, appoint if necessary someone to do the cleaning job or the security job, do a bit of patchwork and repairs to the building because the landlord doesn't do it, the tenants do it. All these groups came together under the Federation of Tenants Associations. So the Federation was formed in and around the year between 80 and 85 and 90. In the year 1986 came chapter 8a and the landlords went to court against the rent act, against the chapter 8a, asked for increase in rent, asked for quashing of the rent act, asked for quashing of chapter 8a and the matter was heard by the high court who sided with the government and the tenants the matter was taken to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court heard it under the chairmanship of Chief Justice, the then Chief Justice, Honorable Justice Barucha. And you know who the petitioners were. The petitioners were the landlords. By the way, may I tell you as to who is amongst the largest landlords in Mumbai who has filed cases against all the measures taken by government in the tenancy matter. You'll be, you won't really be surprised. It is the Parsi Panchayat. And the landlords under the leadership of the Parsi Panchayat approached the Supreme Court and the tenants in Mumbai realized that if the Supreme Court quashes the rent act, 25 lakh people would immediately be on the streets. So a strategy for getting tenants together was worked out. It comprised of tenants, residential tenants on one side, Chawl residents on the other side. The trade unions on the third side. The commercial tenants, the small little shops, the mom and pop shops, which give you the kiranas, which give you the day-to-day -day household items all over the city. The association of retail traders, on one side, the Federation of Associations of Maharashtra, which is FAM, 
all got together and formed an action committee of tenants for the first time in the history of the city of mumbai the action committee of tenants became the most powerful body there were meetings that were held in every single ward of the city 270 wards saw 270 meetings of residential tenants commercial tenants the restaurant owners association played an important role because 14000 res- restaurants in mumbai and in maharashtra would have to shut down if the rents would have increased and the rent act would have been struck down all of them got together and the action committee gave a call for a mumbai band and a maharashtra band and i must tell you with due humility that for the first time in the history of mumbai the megapolis we saw a mumbai band called by the tenants for the tenants the whole city took a holiday and gathered at the azad maidan never have tenants gathered in one place to press for their rights and their demands the meeting at azad maidan was attended by more than 1 lakh people and all these people just wanted to tell the government that look please don't disouse us and the tenants then marched in different areas and that was the beginning of what can be said to be mumbai's tenant movement so much about the tenant movement please tell me what you feel about it if you go into the archives of all newspapers between 1985 and 1995 you will see a lot that happened in that period and the movement of the tenant actively dictating to the government the power of the tenants so the tenants power is there to just lying low let's all get together and put the tenants back into action to fight for the rights the just rights of the middle class and the poor of the mumbai under the broad banner of the action committee for fighting for tenants rights so much for today This is Chandrasekhar Prabhu signing off for now bye for now